Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be setting up right here your computer. So, let's just start up and that's why I have it backwards because all your connections are in the back. So I want to show you that before we start. So you know, in your back of your computer we have HDMI's right here. So if you guys want to hook up another screen, you're, you will have to hook it up right here. HDMI out. So you can have a second screen. Ethernet, power will go right there. This is USB-C, regular USB, SD card goes right in there and then right here headphones this right here will be your camera you can just slide it up and slide it down whenever you don't want to use it on the left side of your computer that's your power button so that's where we're gonna turn it on in just a sec so let's start off with the most basic stuff your keyboard and mouse so right here it's an adapter we're gonna have to plug this into your computer we're gonna do it in a second and right now we're gonna have to put batteries to put batteries inside right here in HP mouse all we have to do is on the bottom, you will notice this little gap. Just put your fingers there. It's going to pop out that easy. Yep. And then these are triple A batteries that you need to put in there. So we're going to put in some batteries right here. Triple A batteries. We're just going to place them. I'm going to put this back. Just make sure this pops in the whole way and you're set. Down here below, I also want to show you to turn on your mouse. You just have to do this and that light will be on. So we're just going to leave our mouse on for now. Next up is our keyboard. To put batteries inside your keyboard, it's going to be on the back. This is an HP keyboard. So we're just going to open this up. That's in the middle. And then we're going to insert triple A batteries right here. We're just going to put this back. And there we go. So to open it up again, it's just this little flap right here. Just put some pressure and it's going to go off. Next, on the back of our computer, we're going to see all these. Just plug it into any USB port. So this adapter right here works like a Bluetooth adapter. So that works to sync up your mouse and keyboard to your computer. We're just going to plug that in right on the back right here. Just make sure it fits nice and tight. Then when we turn on our computer, it's all going to sync up nicely. So right now this is set up. We can just put this on the side for now. And the next thing is just a power cable, which is the easiest part about setting this whole thing up. All we have to do is just plug this into here. This we're going to put into our outlet. Okay. And this will go into the back of our computer. So this part is going to go right into here. So on the side of your computer, you're going to see this, just power it on. The light should be on at this point in time. And then we're going to see the HP logo and this screen will we'll just say just loading. And then just choose whichever language you guys would like. After you choose your language, Hi just there. choose I'm Cortana, next. And I'm here to help. Your region is set to Canada. Is that right? Yes. Or just hit yes right here on the side. Because it can take long for this to know where you're at. Want to stick with that? So we're just going to go to US. With another keyboard layout? We're going to go on skip. Now let's get you connected to a network. And we need Wi-Fi in order to updates, cook apps, everything up. So we're going to choose the second one. We're going to connect. Now type your so right now, at this point, you guys can use this as a touch screen because it is a touch screen or use your keyboard. Your keyboard should work right away. Mission accomplished. You're all linked up. Right now, we can just hit on next. Now we have some important setup to do. Again, with these touch screens, we can always use our keyboard, mouse, or actually touch the screen. Now let's see what's new from Windows. Next up, the legal stuff. In short, you'll need to select accept to you. Let's just put accept. And at any time, if you guys Add don't want that voice guiding you. Phone number, then follow the instructions to sign in. I'll catch up with you once that's done. We can always turn it off right here on the side. You guys will see speaker and then just put it down or we can put it up. So I'm going to leave it around there. That's okay. We can sign in. We can create an account. It's better if you guys do because it is HP. So everything syncs up better if you guys do that. However, there are other ways around it. So for example, if you don't have a Microsoft account, we can always create one right now. Let's get an account going for you. you can use we can get a new address. email address. We can use a phone number instead. There's various options to this. And we can always go back if we made a mistake. Type your email address and just putting our email right there. Then follow the 
So regardless if you guys signed into your account or made an account using a phone number, this, you might see this if you created one, okay? So we can create a pin right now. It's good to have it just in case. So for our pin, we can't do anything like one, two, three, four. It has to be a little bit more complex than that. Once you do that, hit okay. So in this case, it's asking me this because I put in my phone number, but we can always just do it later or send it right now. Depends what you guys want. We're just gonna hit on next. Again, that's because I put in my phone number. So at this point, I would always say accept. I'm just gonna put yes for now. Let's set things up the way you like them. First, choose if you want to use your voice. To I do like using app. my voice, although now, it can be a little bit slow. I do like app. using my GPS, so that way I can use Google Maps, Maps for example, sure. without a problem. Although, even if you don't turn it on, you can still use Google Maps. We're gonna put yes. Next, so this is good for you guys, not just Microsoft. So I would always say full, but you can choose basic. So I'm gonna put accept on this, I'm gonna put yes on this, and yes on this. Everything I put yes to, you guys can choose no. So you don't have to put yes to everything. So we're gonna hit on next, next. After that, we should have seen a black screen, then a few letters popping out, and then this message. So after just a bit, we should see this on our screen, and we're all done. So right now, you guys can go ahead and use your computer. Again, we can use it as a touch screen. It works perfect as a touch screen, or you guys can use your mouse and keyboard. Obviously, some things are better with a mouse keyboard, other things are better with touch screen. So a lot of the options, you guys will see them here on the side. Obviously, that's the first place that you're gonna go in order to do everything. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.